go up and over. I'll roll it this way and put a catch right here so when we, it comes back over, we'll catch it. Ivan, on the auto route record, will pull over the tractor and trailer. Bubba will roll both ends of the trailer and use a third line to catch as it falls. He can lift it up here with the rotator so we can put a strap on the to the leg and then go over. They'll need to run straps to make the maneuver work. We're gonna try to get these straps under the trailer. We'll just lift the trailer off a few inches off ground. What do you need? I'll have your uh, Gorex excited. Okay, yep. Let's, uh, lift it yep, up, block yep. it, and put it down. That heavy deadlift is a job for the rotator and its new operator. I've worked hundreds and hundreds of racks, but this is a whole new thing to me being in the rotator now. It's a big challenge. It's giving me a hard time. I'm not a computer guy. Now I have no option because my truck is all computers. I, I can't get away from it. There she go. There. Am I good to lift here now? Go on up, guys. Bubba's first move, lift the back of the trailer, still weighed down with the remains of the load. Where's the strap? What is it? You get her? No, oh, you gotta lift up a little bit. That's a little bit, not too much. Go on up again. Oh, up. Got it. Okay. Just gonna lift the front of the trailer so we can get the straps in over there. Now he swings the boom to tackle the front. Okay, going up. I'm already 73%. Reaching from farther away, reduces lifting power. Bubba's barely started lifting, and he's close to maxing out the rotator. Might break. It's heavy. Now that's where I'm a little worried if we actually got enough weight out of it. Boom is at full extension. The further the boom goes out, the less capacity it has. There's so much things that can go wrong. I can bend the boom. I can bend an outrigger, which can now topple over the truck. Pick up, pick up, and move closer then. So Bubba stops the lift to reposition. Oh, this is killing us for time. Traffic's building up quite bad. The commuter traffic is now slowed almost to a crawl because all the trucks are here, the flashing lights, and there's something for them to look at. So now, because of the slowdown here, we run this risk of secondary collisions further up. But even with his truck closer, once Bubba commits to the lift. Holy crap. At 93%. 100% right on the button. 100% means that's maximum my truck should be lifting. Holy crap. 102. Whoa! Good! There we go! He's got her. Hopefully that's gonna be enough as we're pushing the, the equipment past its uh, specs. You can go through it. There we go. There we go. Pull, pull. Go grab the strap, I'll throw it up to him. Keep going unless my truck rolls over. That's the only time I'll stop. Okay. When you start a roll, you don't stop. You have to keep going. Really? Almost, man. Hold on. It's now or never and pray for the best. You ready? Yeah. What's up? There's a lot of weight just holding there. Keep going. Tight, tight your cats. Tight your cats. If you stop to try and look at something, both trucks can get rolled over. Not good sounds. We're coming apart. 
Listen, we know things don't quite add up right now. Inflation is down, rent is up. Well, when the cost of living is high, we find new ways to go low. We've lowered the price on hundreds of your favorite IKEA products. Designing something beautiful is easy. Designing something beautiful with great quality for a low price, that's a different story. It's why we're here. That's a promise, not a promo. The horrible events of September 11th continue to leave their mark on our nation, especially the brave who stepped forward to keep the rest of us safe at home. We went over there because we didn't want that to happen again. After September 11th, it was all about what can I do to protect my country? The role we played in finding Osama bin Laden, it was gratifying. Many who have come back home to this land they protected now need healing and recovery. They need your help, and they need Wounded Warrior Project. An improvised explosive device just went off. Three of us out of the five got seriously hurt. With a gift of just $19 a month, you will provide free programs and services that can change a person's life forever. I am grounded in profound gratitude. We pledge to serve our country, and now you're pledging to have our backs. Please remember those whose brave service ensured we would never experience another day like 9-11. Call or go online with your gift of $19 a month, and we will send you this Wounded Warrior Project blanket as a reminder of the difference your gifts are making. After my injury, I was in those dark days for a long time, but Wounded Warrior Project helped me to be able to move forward. You're still a man, and you'd still be able to provide for your family. Wounded Warrior Project, to me, means you're not gonna be forgotten. I think we all should help those who have stepped forward so that we can live our lives free. I'm going to need help for the rest of my life. Please continue to donate. It lets me know that my sacrifice wasn't in vain. Please call or go online right now. Everyone who's endured the bad seat, finally, sweet, sweet redemption. The Lexus TX, three row luxury that treats every seat like the best seat. It's a cold, hard fact. No other news network out there is trusted more than the Weather Channel. And America doesn't trust winter coverage to any. Spectrum delivers the fastest internet and Wi-Fi download speeds in the nation. Now, upgrade to Spectrum Internet Gig for just $20 more per month and get one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. That's right. Upgrade to Spectrum Internet Gig with our fastest speeds available and get a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included free for 12 months. Call 855-388-1416. Go online or visit a Spectrum store today. At CPI, we think outside the box. So we designed a security system that's smarter and works for you. Take Ivan, intelligent video activity notifications. Ivan identifies and alerts you when a person, vehicle, or even animal is detected. And it's all integrated with the best security system so you can sleep at night. Call CPI today to get three free cameras with perimeter alert and advanced video analytics. CPI, intelligent security you can depend on. And today, On the 400 south of Barry. Am I good to lift here now? Go on up, guys. Bubba's first move, lift the back of the trailer, still weighed down with the remains of the load. What is this drop? What is it? You get her? No, you gotta lift up a little bit. That's a little bit, not too much. Go on up again. Oh, I'm good. Good there. Keep going. Tight, tight your cat. Tight your cat. We're coming apart. Yeah. I see the trailer uh, keeping in a bit. 
it. Bubba eases up on his remote control to take a look, but he won't stop. We just gotta keep going. We gotta do this now because it's coming apart. Boom up, but not too much. There is no Ray Reagan right now. We're in the middle of it. Now it's full throttle or, or catastrophe, really. Tighten your gas. Yeah. Keep going, Bubba. Keep going. Tighten, tighten your gas. Tighten your gas. Tighten your gas. Just keep uh, moving up. I'm moving up and catch up. Loose your gas. I just continue to go up to where my cables can catch it to lower it down on my catch line. Go up with the winches. No more move up. No, yeah, just now you got it. Just lower the catch. Go. Easy, Ivan, easy. Go fast on your catch line. Lower. I've dropped it over on my catch lines, but now I'm worried about, am I too close? Is it going to come down on my truck? It's very nerve-wracking. Lower. Lower. Just keep lower fast. 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 Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Hey, look at that. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Upright and back on its wheels with centimeters to spare. Nice job, guys. Knew it was compromised. And as soon as I heard a buckle, that's why we had to get it gone now. So a good thing we took those 15 skids off. Or else we would have had juice everywhere. <laughs> Baba did a great job. Landed very smooth. He's a pretty good operator. Oh, the other truck's here, so we can load that on the truck. Yeah, no problem, buddy. I appreciate your help. Could have done it a little different, maybe, but end of the day, we got it done. And then I learned a, a lot. You're a good man. You're a good man. Job is done. Everybody's happy. I'm going to be learning, and I'm going to make mistakes along the way, but there's so much I can learn with that truck. It's going to teach me things that I couldn't even dream possible. <laughs> Sarnia, Gary and his wife and business partner, Tammy, are on the way home with the newest addition to their fleet. This 50-ton is really a nice in-between truck. It can pick up some heavy stuff when we do some towing, and when it comes to recovery, it's a big, mean truck. It'll have the power we need to pull these trucks out of the ditch. <laughs> That's nice. That's a nice truck. <laughs> Who's that for? Well, we're thinking maybe you could handle this one. Wow. <laughs> this is an awesome surprise. Nice to be able to finally step up and have a, my own truck in the heavies. You've earned no? it, bud. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Wow. Hop in. Take her for a ride. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> it's a big freaking truck. I am definitely ready to see what this truck can do and what it can handle. Next time hey, hang on. on Heavy Rescue 401. Whoa. Smoke on the highway. Going after that truck. Fires up the OPP. That's not good. That's a big one. A double disaster. I've never seen something like this. Pulls Colin into action. Oh, come on. Come on. And pushes the entire crew. This is starting to pull my truck over. Past the breaking point. Well, stop, stop! time for the latest winter storm update. Here's how the storm is progressing and what to expect in your area. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel for the most up-to-date information.
smoke on the highway. We're going after that truck. Fires up the OPP. This is a big one. A double disaster. I've never seen something like this. Pulls Colin into action. Oh, come on. Come on. And pushes the entire crew. Turn to pull my truck. Past the breaking point. Well, stop, stop. In the heart of Toronto, an early blast of winter has given way. Yeah, if you're going east, that's good. That's good news. To a sunny, dry stretch of fall weather. Traffic is moving well. The roads are bare, the sky is clear, the sun is shining. But OPP Sergeant Kerry Schmidt can't let his guard down. Neither can the half million other drivers who will travel this highway today. It only takes one person a moment to make a mistake, and that can change the whole dynamic, and we can have a full shutdown. And at 10.30 a.m. on the 401, 30 miles west of the city. truck on one side of the highway and collateral damage all over the other. Local heavy recovery crews are on scene in minutes. We have a rotator on the other side because it weighs about 100,000 pounds. But a job this size will take even more heavy iron. Kevin Richardson and the crew from Metro Truck are on the way. By the sounds of it, it's going to be a tough one. So it's going to be a dead single lane traffic right now. Anybody got any eyes on the situation? Not bad. On North America's busiest highway, closure is not an option. After a scrap car hauler clipped a car and rolled, it spilled wreckage across both sides of the 401. We're in a hurry right now because we are in the fast lane on the 401, so we got to get this opened up right away. But there's still 100,000 pounds in the truck. A multi-record job for Kevin, the Metro crew, and another local company. Well, yeah, no, hang on. Can we make it shorter? Can we make it shorter? Yeah. There's always a concern working with another tow company. I'm pretty fussy when it comes to my rigging. Kevin rigs lines from his outriggers to pull downward on the trailer. And he'll use two more lines from above to lift and pull the top of the trailer over. Just changing the axle of the frame so we can pull on the, the auxiliaries here and help them lift pull. Up front, Metro operator Phil will use his wrecker to pull over the tractor while the rotator and wrecker from the other company works on the back end and catches the trailer as it rolls. Hang on. Dan, make it shorter. Can we make it shorter? Yeah. All the operators need to work as one. I don't know what they can do. I don't know how well their equipment is, their rigging. There's so much you got to be aware of, especially when you're lifting. Once you have it to start releasing, you and you, OK? You guys got them. We're all here. We're all going to work together and get this open up as fast as we can. If one wrecker gets ahead of the others, the weight in the trailer could pull over the other trucks. Hey, hang on. Everybody stop. Hey. Tell them to go slow. Sometimes I'm a little ornery of doing stuff my way. One sec here, guys. A lot of yelling and uh, <laughs> just adrenaline, right? Just trying to get this open. Slow. I want them to slow, please. OK, here we go. OK, so I want you to start to slow. Nice and easy. Anything happens, you boom down, OK? Boom in and boom down. No, hang on, buddy. Let these guys catch up. I want that line tight. Tighten it up. OK. Sorry, I just don't want nobody getting ahead. Okay, Bill, let's put that nose over. Okay? Okay. Start using this release line. Okay, start releasing. Start releasing. Catch, catch, catch. Okay, we're going to start releasing. Okay. 
job, guys. Good job. I'm glad it went great. It went nice and smooth. We all worked together. It's kind of hard getting everybody to be on the same page, but at the end of the day, the uh, job got done, and just got to get this highway open now. See you on the next one. All lanes should be open uh, shortly. Can plus. Copy, copy. Good job with that one. One hundred fifty miles southwest. I have been hitting sketchy snowfall here and there. Lake effect storms have been hammering the snow belt for days. It's ugly anyway you go, man. I heard a guy say it's a little icy in the box. As a new morning begins on Highway 402. When you see snow go slow, that's how easy it is. Sergeant Dave Rector passes through the aftermath of the latest storm, broadcasting conditions over social media. Out here on the slippery 402, it's clear from Sarnia to London. I don't know if it's going to stay clear very long because we have people traveling at or in excess of the post speed limit on slippery roads. Here we go. There's another transport truck driver driving too fast for road weather conditions. Thirty miles down the highway at the preferred towing yard. Okay, where's calling? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Word comes in. The 402 has claimed its first casualties. Highway 402 shut down because of this wreck. Isn't that bad? We're getting reports back from the scene at this point that there are two tractor trailers. They're both rolled over, and one of them is a propane tank. Okay. For Gary Vanden Heuvel, it's the beginning of the busiest time of year. This is the uh, first big wreck of the season, so uh, winter's here. Close behind, Gary's son Colin follows in his new 50 ton, the second biggest wrecker in the fleet, and a huge step up for Colin. Today is definitely a good test day to show my dad that I am ready for this wreck and that I'm ready for my truck as well. This is going to be up there for, uh, for dangerous recoveries. This one's a loaded propane tanker. It's one of the trucks involved in this one, so there's a lot of risk behind it. Just a few weeks ago, a fuel tanker crash on Highway 400 turned tragic. One of them was ripped open, and it actually caused a major fire, which ended up taking the lives of several people. So we don't want to see something like that happen out there today. This is uh, exit 44 Watford. Uh, they're diverting everybody off to a side road. We just had a personal escort by OPP here. They got everything shut down. Just coming up on scene here, we've got fire, EMS, OPP on scene. Yeah, so this is a big one. We've got uh, multiple trucks involved, rolled over. That is one twisted mess. I've seen a lot of wrecks, but I've never seen something like this. Blinded by the whiteout, the tanker veered off the road, smashing down in the median. The second truck swerved, jackknifed, and slammed over. right away that I've got two serious jobs on my hands. Looks like it might be a one of them with a propane truck. Don't want to have a fart. I'm still going to vote. The itch and rash of moderate to severe eczema disrupts my skin night and day. Despite treatment, it's still not under control. But now I have Renvoke. Renvoke is a once daily pill that reduces the itch and helps clear the rash of eczema fast. Some Renvoke patients felt significant itch relief as early as two days. Some achieved dramatic skin clearance as early as two weeks. And many taking Renvoke saw clear or almost clear skin. Renvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB. Serious infections and blood clots, some fatal. Cancers, including lymphoma and skin. Heart attack, stroke, and GI tears occurred. 
People 50 and older with a heart disease risk factor have an increased risk of death. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Help heal your painful skin. Disrupt the itch and rash of eczema. Talk to your doctor about Rinvoke. Learn how Advy can help you save. What's my safe flight story? I'm a photographer, and when I'm driving, I see inspiration right through my glass. So when my windshield cracked, it had to be fixed right. I scheduled with Safe Flight Auto Glass. Their experts replaced my windshield and recalibrated my car's advanced safety system. Safe Flight is the one I trust. They focus on safety, so I can focus on this view. Safe Flight Repair, Safe Flight Replace. No matter what type of severe asthma you have, Tespire can help you have fewer attacks and relieve your asthma symptoms. Tespire is an add-on treatment for people 12 and over. It is not a rescue medication. Don't take Tespire if you're allergic to it. Allergic reactions may occur and can be serious. Rash or eye allergy can happen. Don't stop your asthma treatments unless your doctor tells you to. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection or your asthma worsens. Sore throat, joint, and back pain may occur. Avoid live vaccines. No matter who you are, ask your asthma specialist about Tespire today. Everything we build is from the ground up. Every great idea, every crazy idea, every next idea. Everything you see, everything you feel when you drive it. We put everything we have into our trucks so you get everything out of them. Ram. Trucks are what we do. During the Ram Start Something New sales event, get 4,500 cash allowance on the purchase of virtually all 2024 Ram 1500 trucks. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. When victory alone isn't enough, you raise your bar, keep dreaming, and go beyond the limits of what you ever thought possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda. Want to know why no one else pizzas the hut? Pizza Hut's buy pizza, get free pizza. On January 10th only, buy a large pizza, get a free large one topping pizza. That's enough to feed you and the crew. That's why no one out pizzas the hut. Are you tired of clean clothes that just don't smell clean? Downy Unstoppable's in-wash scent boosters keep your laundry smelling fresh way longer than detergent alone. Get six times longer lasting freshness plus odor protection with Downy Unstoppable's. Try for under $5. Driver, is that 402 open? No, it ain't open yet. All the traffic is getting diverted. Yeah, this one took a ride. How you doing, guys? On the highway east of Sarnia, fire crews have given the go-ahead for a closer look at the propane tanker. Wow, look at that. All right, well, this one's going to be a good one. It's ripped right off the fifth wheel off that uh, tracker, so this is a heavy one, Paul. She's loaded, too, so, yeah. wow. It weighs in at 120,000 pounds, and that's only half the job. Yeah, guys, they're shooting the ditch. Oh, man. Do you know what's in the load or not? Tomatoes. Tomatoes? Okay. 40,000 pounds of tomatoes pushing hard against the trailer wall. That weight, you can see, is all in that wall. You can see these are the rivets for the trailer. Here, we've got all this wall broken out and it's actually being held up by the ditch itself and the snow on the bottom side. So when we lift, we'll see if it holds together. If it doesn't, you know, you're gonna have tomatoes everywhere, so. The 402 runs from the 401 in London to the Blue Water Bridge crossing, where $127 million flows over the border daily. I think this one can be towed and that one can be towed. So Gary has to rely on operators Kyle and Mark to handle the delicate tomato wreck. All right, put you there, Mark. Get your strap in place as far down as we can get down here. Get it lifting. And at the same time, I think if you start pulling that tractor around, my hope is that it wants to come back instead of coming this way. Okay. It does look like the front of the truck's been compromised, so I think we'll be all right pulling on it here. I'm going to be lead truck on this. I'll be hooked onto the tractor. I will turn it and do the winch out with my record. Mark, he's at the back side. He's actually at the, the difficult point of this for the upright because he's got the point where all the load could actually break through. 
the biggest concern here is trying to get it up, over, and onto its wheels without breaching that side. Otherwise, <laughs> we got ketchup in the ditch. And just 150 feet down the road. I'm actually, I just got it all rigged up here. So I got my chain, got my snacks locked. Uprighting the heavy tanker is up to Colin. Definitely a little bit nervous with this one because, you know, I haven't had a, much of a chance to test out this new truck. The force of the impact snapped off the tractor, leaving it at the back end of the trailer. But they're still connected by hydraulic lines. Just uh, rigging to pull this back to release the tension off the cable, uh, the hydraulic lines here, because there's a, a lot of tension on these things. You know, if these lines snap right now, we're in some serious trouble. When they blow, they'll shoot hydraulic fluid, and it's usually pressurized to over 100 pounds. And with the pressurized lines, what it does is it essentially it just shoots through you like a needle, and you can lose limbs or you can die. Colin's first step, drag the tractor back to release that tension. But he's brand new to this truck. Hey, Carl. Yeah. If you drop that third axle on your truck, yeah, that puts one more set of wheels on the ground. Get more traction. Okay. Yep. I'll do that. We got more uh, more surface area blocking us. The better. There we go. Pressure's coming off, Carl. Good there, Colin. Okay. Just give a little tap. Perfect. Do what you have to do. You get this thing upright for me? Yeah. I'm going to go back and help the other guys. Sounds good. Just keep an eye pad. If there's something you don't like, you see, let him know, okay? This is definitely a, a good test for me, you know, showing my dad that I can get this done for him showing him that I have the skills to actually run this truck. He's on his own to do this job and get it upright. This will be the first time I've flipped the truck over by myself, so it should be good. <laughs> good. 100 miles southwest, there's another rookie working to prove himself in heavy recovery. Yeah, poor Matt here, he's learning trial by fire for sure. <laughs> but you know, there's nothing like getting your hands dirty, right? Yeah. I want to say that'll be him over there. I'm going to back down. Matt, come here for a minute, please. Is it full? The plow is loaded with salt and badly stuck. I'm going to guess around 45,000 pounds. It's going to be somewhere in that range. <laughs> Got a good lean on her, for sure. Hey, Matt. Come here, please. This is just going to be a single line. Yeah. OK, we're going to pull from, with a double on the front. OK. OK, you start walking it out for me. I've got things juggling around here in my head pretty quickly, and I tend to move pretty quickly. And I'm pretty demanding on the people I'm working with to, to be moving quickly as well. So as new as he is, it's good. we're going to see how he reacts to that. This, this line from here through there to there and then back to the truck right over here. OK, this is going to go to that chain right there. The one in the back? No, we don't need it at the back. Oh, OK, I'm There's one in the front. Hook, aim down. Yeah. Pay attention, Matt. Ready? Brakes are off, right? Now, what are you pulling first? I'm going to lead with the front. You're going to pull the front? Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. The power of the Weather Channel, now available to everyone. This is epic! Trusted live coverage when it matters most is now yours to stream with the Weather Channel TV app, real-time radar, maps that let you track all the action, and so much more. Available now on these platforms. Go to streamtwc.com to start your free seven-day trial.
and whole grains. Doing something good for yourself has never been this easy. Just do what's delicious. Kellogg's Special K. Dude, you coming? Elka Seltzer Plus Power Max Gels Cold and Flu Relief with more concentrated power. Because the only thing dripping should be your style. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, Winter Warriors with Elka Seltzer Plus. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharon, and I lost 52 pounds on Golo. On other diets, I could barely lose 10 to 15 pounds. Thanks to Golo, I've lost 27% of my body weight, and it was easy. Like also paper weed in the school. Oh, yeah. When you're with your club, harmony happens. A club is all you need. Spectrum Mobile brings you our best deal to start the new year. Now you can get unlimited mobile for $15 per line. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line with no added taxes or hidden fees and no contracts. Save over $1,400 for the first year. Call 855-231-5435. Spectrum Mobile includes nationwide 5G and the fastest wireless speeds with unlimited talk, text, and data. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line. Call 855-231-5435 or visit a Spectrum store near you. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. 640. Highway closed. On the 402 near Watford, eastbound traffic is crawling toward the off ramp. Work them together nice and easy. Get it moving. While the preferred crew works to straighten out and lift the fragile semi. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I hear noises. Whoa! Hands. Off. This roof's buckling, guys. I'm trying to hold on to this wall. It's just a mess. On the other side of that wall, over 40,000 pounds of tomatoes ready to burst through. This thing's broken up so badly, and if I do try and upright this, and it does break open, and this load goes down into the ditch, it just makes it a terrible mess. I think she's going to blow. We'll have tomato soup. I don't want tomato soup. OK, I want to get a strap under this corner. They add a second strap to the back end of the trailer to give it more support. You OK, Mark? You got it? Yep, it's hooked. OK. Hopefully it gives us something. Yep. Snug her up. Still good? Yeah, keep going, Mark. Another foot or two. OK, oh. Yep. So perfect, but might do. Mark? Yeah. Nice and easy. Two lines. Come on. Kyle, start pulling. Yep. One miserable bastard. Keep going? Keep going. Come on. How are you doing with yours, Kyle? Not worth it. A hundred miles southwest. Okay. So here's a picture of a dump truck. There's another rookie working to prove himself in heavy recovery. And that block will stay there? Oh, yeah. Matt is the newest hire, so we're, we're trying to get a lot of training done with him. A lot of this stuff is stuff that we're going to have to do hands-on, right? Mm -hmm. Lead operator Eric Goddard prefers teaching out on the road over the classroom. And in most cases, that's all you need, because you'll always release the brakes. And today... You've got a 7,500 international tandem snowplow that's in a ditch. I want to say that'll be him over there. Come up here. All right, come up here. I'm going to show you something, OK? I'm leading with the front, and I showed him what happens if you try to pull too heavy on the rear. I can put this front end right back in the ditch. Now, if I pull that back too hard right now, it's going to push the front end back in the ditch. Yeah, I see that. With 
That front end should be safe. Should safely be able to grab that back end now. I think you'll drive out there. Nice and easy. You can come this way. It doesn't get any better than that right there. That's that's the best classroom we're going to have. We're hoping for a whole lot of more classroom coming just like that one. <laughs> good job. Sounds good. Thank you. It makes me feel good knowing that another young guy that looks like we can turn him into a really good operator, and he wants to be. So for me, it's just a good sign for the future of what's to come. Out on the 402, Kyle and Mark are rigged up and ready for step one on the tomato center. I'm done playing with this. The tractor is jammed, refusing to swing free of the jackknife. The fifth wheel plate is all bent, and it's hung up, and it's not allowing me to turn the tractor, bring it up, and out of the ditch. The fifth wheel is all that's holding the tractor and trailer together. Take your truck, get it over where you need to get it so that that thing slides okay. around. Kyle repositions his wrecker for a stronger pull from the side. Straight back, straight back. But with a fifth wheel so damaged, the extra force could tear it apart. We don't have the luxury of time on this particular job. We need to get this highway open again. Dynamic air suspension, all wheel steering. Configurable terrain response. Effortless in the extreme. If you have chronic kidney disease, you can reduce the risk of kidney failure with Farsiga because there are places you'd rather be. Farsiga can cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration, urinary tract, or genital yeast infections, and low blood sugar. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Farsica and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, an allergic reaction, or ketoacidosis. Farsica. My sixth grade English class wrote some letters to our local Chick-fil-A that had closed for remodeling. Dear Chick-fil-A. Dear Chick-fil-A. Dear Chick-fil-A. I used to get Chick-fil-A 100 times a week. We need it back. <laughs> we cannot leave these letters unanswered. So we loaded up our food truck to surprise not just her class, but the entire school. It was really rewarding as a teacher to see that kindness return to the kids. We got you a little something to make sure your students keep writing. No fees or minimums and no overdraft fees are another reason banking with Capital One is an even easier decision than this. I'll take Barkley. Yes! Yep, even easier than that. What's in your wallet? Get away to the middle. Won't you stay for a little? Pam, I'll catch on city. The cabin's so pretty. Walking in the middle on the land. Did you know you can save with GoodRx? Even if you have insurance? You know, I thought my prescription was covered until it wasn't. But GoodRx helps with that. I work for myself, so I buy my own insurance. And I still check GoodRx. I'm on Medicare. I check GoodRx because it can beat my copay. Who wouldn't like that? Even if you have insurance, GoodRx can help you save. Okay, we'll see you next time. Another good reason to check GoodRx. Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats. Connect on a sweeter level. Pan Pizza is Domino's best kept secret. It's handmade with fresh, never frozen dough, has two layers of cheese, toppings to the edge, and a crust that's golden and crispy. Well, consider the secret out. Carry out any one topping medium pan pizza for $7.99 at Domino's. Oh, I miss you so much. Oh, I just got an online offer from CarMax to sell this mom van. This is the greatest day of my life. Oh, the saddest day of my life. And now it's
it's time for the latest winter storm update. Here's how the storm is progressing and what to expect in your area. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel for the most up-to-date information. On the eastbound 402, Gary is racing daylight to ease the fragile trailer up. I think this trailer's gonna break right in two on us. But he's got no faith it'll survive the trip. There's not much structure left in that. The walls are blowing, the bottom rails are punched out of it. Okay. Okay, Mark, I need you on the center strap. Give a little pull. A little pull. Keep even with the other one. Keep going. This wall is coming apart. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Keep going. Get them both. Get her up. Get her up. Get her up. Get her up. Full tilt. Get it up. Full tilt. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Far one. Keep it going. Oh, I'm starting to buckle now. I'm starting to bend. Okay, that's good right there. Did that wall stay in place? That wall stayed in place. It's ugly, but it's together. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is ugly. Wow, wow. I cannot believe that held. That is crazy. <laughs> but the trailer still has a long way to go. Once I had it upright, there was a second challenge of actually getting this up and out of the ditch. We're not out of the woods yet. Just down the road. Pull her tight. That's good. Colin is rigged up and ready to flip the tractor of the propane truck. All right, see what she wants to do. Come on. Come on. Just trying to get this thing to flip, but it doesn't want to. It wants to keep dragging. I can't figure out quite why it's fighting me like this. In theory, this thing should be wanting to come up and over, but it's just sliding. Just watching Colin over there, struggling a little bit to get that upright. Come on. I'm definitely quite frustrated right now. Giving you a hard time? Yeah. That's another thing we could do. Well, I was trying to extend the boom out to get it a little bit further over, but I'm going to run out of cable if I do it that way. OK. Um, We've got something else here that we can use. Colin's just not seeing that he has a different opportunity to do a pull a different way. There's a, a second option for this, and he's just missing that. What if we run over top? Yeah. Under that trailer? Yeah. Oh, and flip it back. Yeah. Flip it backwards. That would work. All right, re-rig. Colin will run a line over the top of the tractor and use the heavy tanker trailer as an anchor. Oh, come on. It's stuck. Having to rethink things, it sucks. It's kind of a defeating moment. But Colin has no time to let doubt throw him off his game. Struggling a little bit. We don't have much daylight left, and we're still definitely hours away from this thing being done. OK, OK. I'm going to start rolling this thing. Got 
got it. Ooh. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. After fighting with this thing for as long as we've been fighting with it, it's nice to finally have it upright. Okay, how are you guys doing over there? Ooh. It's going good. Okay, nothing fancy. Grab it by that back end, drag that down the road and get it out of our way. Yep. Good job. Yep. How you guys doing? Good. Back at the tomato truck, Kyle's ready for round two. If his pole snaps the fifth wheel, this recovery could get a lot tougher. We have no choice. We have to get it up there. If it breaks apart, it breaks apart. You ready? Go. All right, let's go. Both lines, Kyle. Get it moving. Keep going, Kyle. Let's keep going. Get it moving. Keep pulling. Just broke the fifth wheel plate. The crew straightens out the tracker, but the trailer is a whole new problem. On one hand, it's a relief, but on the other hand, it is a pain. Because it now became a balancing act. The only thing securing it to the tractor is gravity. If it falls off, then I'm into a world of a mess out here. Oh, boy. They'll have to try using the two wreckers to shimmy both pieces of the truck out together. OK, well, I think we're at the point, guys, where we may just have to start pulling it up and see what this trailer does. OK, let's uh, put some pressure on your lines. OK. But first, they'll have to get the trailer up on its wheels in one piece. I got all the way to the trailer now, pretty much. Yeah, uh, getting ready for a crash here. If it's going to go, it's going to go. I think this trailer's going to break right in two on us. One hundred fifty miles east. Afternoon traffic is heating up on the 401 across Toronto. And the OPP is determined to keep it moving. Yeah, it looks like the right lane's open. Smoky Bears in the left lane. You followed two trucks now, one of them twice, extremely close over the last approximately kilometer, kilometer and a half. Constable Rob Long patrols the 401 east of the city. Looking for aggressive driving, dangerous driving, speeding, following too closely. And distracted driving is another major problem. The driver's on his cell phone. Before he even reaches the car. A strong smell of burnt rubber, smoke coming from the back of the truck. There's a more urgent problem barreling down the highway. You're lucky day, man. I gotta go. We're going out to that truck. If they're not caught in time, locked, overheated brakes are a major cause of truck fires. We'll go up and we'll have a chat with them. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. Stopped today because you were burning something. Wanted to make sure that you weren't sitting on fire on us or something. We're gonna take it in for inspection. The moment I loved our Subaru Outback most was the moment they walked away from it. Mom! Oh, thank goodness. And that's why our family will only drive a Subaru. Subaru. More IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus awards than any other brand. Love. It's what makes Subaru, Subaru. I'm a guy who lost a bet and my dignity. Get out of the as if watching my team lose wasn't punishment enough. What are you looking at, huh? What are you? It's a one speed.
And if you have cut rate car insurance, odds are you'll be paying for that yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm adding Downy Unstoppables to my wash. Now I'll be smelling fresh all day long. Still fresh. Mm, so fresh. Get six times longer lasting freshness plus odor protection. Try for under $5. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway. Like the new Deli Heroes. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. It's a pretty big deal. Kinda like me. Order in the Subway app today. Everybody come for the fresh and fruity. Hey. Only at I have the fruity tootie. Hey. Mix and match like a little combo cutie. Hey. Happening now at the big extravagooty. The Rudy Tootie Extravaganza starting at $7. Create your own combo with eggs and bacon. Only at IHOP. Blood when brushing could be the start of a domino effect of gum disease. All of these signs could lead to worse. Paradontax is clinically proven to reverse the signs of early gum disease. Paradontax, the gum experts. What? It's superhero dance school. Lego with Dego. Can't wait. Start your day with NatureMate, the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. Well, it's spending season, but that's okay because there's one. The app and cashback debit card that can help you earn rewards at your favorite stores and 5% APY on savings to put toward those future plans. There's a lot of banking options out there, but one is not like the others. Because the only thing dripping should be your style. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. With Elka-Seltzer Plus cold and flu relief. Also try for fizzy fast cough relief. East of Toronto. You can see the burn marks there. Oh, yeah. It's got to be his bracers, for sure. Rob Long has escorted the smoking truck to a Ministry of Transportation inspection station. Is that going to hold the brake again? This axle is designed to go up and down. A lift axle can be lifted and lowered as the truck driver requires. And what it does is it disperses the weight. When he lays it down, that's where all the smoke was, and the smell was coming from earlier when it went by me. When the driver lowered the axle, he had no idea that its brakes were seized, creating dangerous friction. It could have caused a fire. A couple of charges were laid, and the vehicle was put out of service until all the repairs are fixed. It's always rewarding to get a vehicle that's not safe off the road. Your whole goal is to make the road safe for everybody to use. So to get that one vehicle that isn't quite up to par off the road, it's a good feeling. Highway, up and down. Back on the preferred scene. Oh, uh, it looks like there's still gonna be a while yet. Colin is trading in his new 50-ton for his father's rotator. He needs the sliding turret to take on the propane trailer. It's on free school. They rig to the rear axle, aiming to lift just enough to make room for running straps. I'll check our collar for a minute. How you doing, Cole? Oh, all right. Hang on. I'm OK if it slides this way a bit, Cole. Well, that's what my plan was. I was going to try to pull it this way here okay. and then uh, lift it up. There's a lot of weight there. He has to get the boom at the right angle. It's a long reach. It's a big challenge to do something like this. You ready to do it? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. ready. Sounds good. It's going to be really hard because this thing's pressed right into the ground. OK, ready? I'm wondering, it looks like there might just be enough. I think there is just like a millimeter gap there. If we can just get it to slide underneath. 
pull at all? Nothing. With a major load on the end of his line, Colin can't take any chances. Okay. I'm just worried because if I pull on this too much, we could rip this rear axle right out of it. That rear axle gets torn off right now. It's going to cause problems getting it up and out of the ditch. And now transportation down the road is just going to make this thing miserable. OK, um, let's see what it does. Watch yourselves. Nope. That's as much as I want to go with that. Anything? Until he can run the straps. Uh. Colin's first rollover is staying rolled over. Uh. Down the road. I want to try something here. Yeah. I'm going to move you back over this way. You're going to put one line on that truck, and we're going to put one line on this uh, trailer, and we're going to try and inch this up the ditch by itself together. Gary and crew set up for the most complicated and delicate stage of the tomato recovery. OK. Double it, Kyle. Double it up. Double it up. And then let's see if we can get this thing up to the top of the ditch. OK. They need to ease tractor and trailer to the road as a single unit. But with the fifth wheel sheared off, there's nothing connecting them. Now we've got a floating trailer on top of the tractor. One wrong pull, if we go too far one way or another, this trailer is actually going to slide right off the back of this tractor, probably roll back down in the ditch and go over it. So Kyle will run a line to the tractor and double another line to the trailer, holding the units together all the way up to the highway. OK, guys, are you ready? Yeah, I'm good to go, Gary. OK. OK, so just snug, both of them. Work it together, OK? Yep. All I need you to do, Mark, yep. is to hold on to that thing while he pulls. It's up to Mark to secure the trailer and prevent it from bursting wide open. I'm going to watch that backside, make okay. sure it doesn't start to collapse. OK. They have to be in sync. And if they're not, one guy gets ahead of the other, puts too much twist, too much pressure in one location, he could pull right through that wall, break this trailer right into it. OK. See what it does. Nice and easy. Pull together. Just don't let it slip out from underneath. This is my concern now. Okay, harder on the tractor just for a sec. Spin it. Starting to roll back here, boys. Hold on a little tighter. Top strap. Uh, back strap. Hold on. Whoa. Yep. Mark. Yep. Back strap. Give me a little tight. That's it. A little more. Tighten up on that other one. I see it's getting loose. OK, Kyle, your yes. turn again. Let's try and bring that up. Keep it snug. Not too hard, not too loose. On, get to the road. Right? We can get this thing to the top. We're good. Leaving the trail of tomatoes. It's rolling. You keep moving out of that ditch. Bring it as far as you can. Not too much, but Mark, ease up, Mark, ease up, Mark. Mark is keeping the trailer upright, and he can't put too much pressure on. If he does, he may actually collapse the wall. OK, oh, no, no, don't let off. Front strap a little tight. Was this starting to pull my truck over? Whoop. Oh, yeah, let off on the back strap a little bit. Why? Well, it's starting to pull my truck. Whoa, whoa, oh, stop, stop. stop. My plaque psoriasis was so bad, I couldn't get my hair done. My psoriasis was all over. Then my joints started hurting. Found out it was psoriatic arthritis. Who knew they could be connected? For me, Cosentix works on both. Five years and counting. Did you know people with psoriasis on the scalp have a four times higher risk of developing psoriatic arthritis, which if left untreated can lead to permanent joint damage? Cosentix works on all of this and helps stop further joint damage. Talk to your doctor. Find something that works for you. Serious allergic reactions, severe skin reactions that look like eczema, and an increased risk of infections, some fatal, have occurred. 
Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to, or if IBD symptoms develop or worsen. Cosentex. Still working for me. Find relief that can last. Ask your dermatologist about Cosentex. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. When victory alone isn't enough, you raise your bar, keep dreaming, and go beyond the limits of what you ever thought possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda. How irresistible are cheesy crackers? Uh -oh. Want it, need it, cheese it. Meet Mike. Mike's been hearing a ton about CBD. Some people are telling him it's changed their life. Now he's wondering if he should try it. He's lucky because he has friends he trusts who have found a really good CBD product they recommend. Nothing is as great as this stuff. I mean, Harrelson's own CBD is like my secret weapon. No matter how many things come at me, I'm like, boom, handled, next. Give your life a boost. We make every bottle of Harrelson's own from 100% organic CBD, hand harvested right from the farm. You're going to feel the benefits quickly, love the way it feels, pay a fair price, and you're going to thank us for it. I'm just in the zone all day, fully focused, and I can balance and juggle everything. I'm like crushing it all day long. It helps me be there with my kids. We back every bottle with a 60-day, 100% money-back guarantee. Give Harrelson's Zone a try, from our family to yours. Go to harrelsoncbd.com to order yours now. What? $6.99 for the DQ Chicken Strip Basket. Oh, just $6.99 for the whole basket. But it's only for a limited time? Let's go get it right now. I'm driving. DQ, happy tastes good. It's a cold, hard fact. No other news network out there is trusted more than the Weather Channel. And America doesn't trust winter coverage to any. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Why do we keep spending our money with corporations that disregard the environment in pursuit of profits? Because there's never been a better way to shop with your values by getting what you want while helping others get the resources they need. Until now. HumanIT's nonprofit online store lets anyone get high quality laptops from top brands at a fraction of their normal prices. Every purchase directly funds our mission to provide access to digital tools, connectivity, and support for people around the world. Ready to shop with purpose and contribute to a brighter future? Visit the HumanIT online store today. 640. Kyle and Mark are rigged up and ready for step one on the tomato semi. So you're hooked ready? I'm hooked and ready. Okay, snug it up. It's rolling. Keep it moving out of that ditch. Bring it as far as you can. Keep going, Mark. Front strap a little tight. The preferred crew is fighting to get the tomato truck to the road in one piece. Starting to pull my truck. Whoa, 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 stop, stop. Hold on, what do we got? Oh, I was just starting to pull my truck over. The biggest issue we've got is my record just kept sliding down into the ditch. I couldn't get a good bite. Mark's truck is running out of pull. We're pulling too hard sideways on it. If we keep doing that, we're going to flop his truck over. So I need to get another heavy in there and pull onto that trailer. Straight back, Gary. Straight back. We gotta work fast, guys. We're running out of light. I do want to get this up. Okay. Gary will operate the additional wrecker for extra support in the middle of the trailer. But from this position, he won't be able to keep an eye on the rupturing wall. Call? Yeah. 
need you to take a break from that. I need you over here. OK. OK, where do you need me, Dad? Come around to the back of the trailer here, please. OK. Just make sure that Mark has enough tension on this and that I have enough tension on this that it's not falling over. Up yeah. here, I need you to, up here as well, Cole. OK. I need you to make sure that we're not sliding that trailer off the track or there's nothing to hold it, OK? Yeah. OK, everybody ready? Yep. Yep. Kyle, yep. Yep. Mark. Yep. Colin, are you ready back there? I am ready. I am on the controls. Go ahead. OK, pulling now. Whoa, hold on. Oh. Tighten up, Mark. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, what's the noise back there? What's uh, it's just shifting a little bit on the uh, fifth wheel there. OK. Keep her going. Keep her going. Keep her going. You got another, like, four feet. Good. OK, you're up. OK, that's good right there. We're up on the road. We should be able to drive this thing home. <laughs> this is a huge relief to have this thing up on the road. It's got a slight dog tracker problem, but I think it's all right. Yeah, I agree. It's been a bit of a battle, but it's where we need it now. It feels good to get it out, but there's a lot of work ahead of us. The trailer still needs to be unloaded, and even that won't be simple. What if you let off, Mark? What does it do? Whoa, stop, Mark. Okay, we're gonna have to hold on to it. Once we let off, it just wants to fall right over. It still doesn't want to stand up. This thing is just being an ignorant SOB today. It's just putting up a fight every turn we make. Okay, guys, we're gonna let it sit like that for now. We'll start off loading when we can. We're gonna start working on that other one. Yep. That's all we can do. They'll need to keep straps around the trailer for the entire offload. Okay, Carl, you're good. Get back to the rotator. Let's start trying to get those straps underneath of it. Okay. We've already done a major recovery there, getting that one up and out of the ditch, and now we've got one more to go, so it's going to be a long one. The sun is setting, and the tanker is still stuck deep in the ditch. It's going to be a long night. We're going to be here late, if not early, early hours in the morning, just to get this all cleared up. Getting a little exhausted. It's going to be one of those nights. It's going to be nice to get home. But for Gary and crew, the ride home is still a long way off. I've got a whole crew that I have to manage, two wrecks that I have to watch. Everybody, everybody was getting tired. I'm getting tired, both physically and mentally. I'm starting to drain out. Just the home stretch is always the hardest. Next time on Heavy Rescue 401. Oh! The fight to clear the double wreck. Why are we doing this again? Becomes a battle. Gary! Gary! Hold on, whoa! Against frustration. 401 calling me. Eric. That must have been a hell of a ride. Spot signs of trouble. That could be a problem. What's in it? And a tight space. You gotta be insane. Forces a big test. Fingers crossed. Holy. Oh. Whoa! for the latest winter storm update. Here's how the storm is progressing and what to expect in your area. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel for the most up-to-date information.